Look at what's on the Soundshack workbench. An 833 with an SL2. I finally did it. I've been talking about getting a light package for a long time, and I just never really pulled the trigger on it. The 633 didn't really appeal to me. I just kind of, it seemed a little too limiting. But here we have it. I've been, I've been out in the field with this for a couple of months now. Um, obviously, the SL2 is recent, but uh, I've been putting this thing through its paces. And uh, kind of, uh, I'm kind of really liking the 8 Series. And as a matter of fact, the noise suppression uh, is engaged right now. I have a little oscillating fan rocking the sound shack. And I've got uh, a noise reduction on both the left and right bus at negative 4. Now, you, you can hear a little bit of the fan. I'll drop, uh, let me drop it out. Let me drop the noise reduction out. You can hear what it sounds like live. And there you go. That's uh, pure, normal, no noise reduction. Uh, oscillating fan doing its deal over on the table, probably four feet from me. And we'll pot it back in. Just doing a little, little AB in here. And there we go. Noise reduction is re-engaged. I know they, they call it suppression. I don't. I call it reduction. All my logs, everything says NR. Um, it, it's it just more uniform with post. I think post likes to see NR as well. Now, where I've been using noise assist and noise reduction is in uh, live television hits. It actually has really become a tool that I like a lot because it can oftentimes, you know, especially in news, you're not picking locations based on sound. You're picking locations based on the story. And so what you're trying to do, if from my department's point of view, is to make that location acceptable and work. And with the noise reduction, uh, it, it really, really has made a huge difference. I don't have to worry about the, the building right next to me has an air conditioner on that's, that's blasting. Well, I can help that. I can minimize that. And I'm not trying to make it go away to, to a point where it, uh, it affects the, the spoken word, I'm just trying to make it so that I have the noise floor that I need to have my, my spoken words actually be spot on and legible and clear. And in, in news, you're really, you really, it, it's the content that's important. And, you, you know, and our job is to deliver that content with the highest quality possible that we can. And this is just another tool that has really allowed me to do just that. And I'm very happy with it. The 8 Series has a user function box. You see them as one star and two star, and in the, in the menu in the toggle setup section, you can, you can decide what you want to have quick access to. And for me, believe it or not, Noise Assist is, is my single star on, on mine. You hit that toggle switch, and there it is. Noise Assist just dropped out, and we're back to raw audio. And it's, you know, I don't like to have to go back to the buses and stuff. And this gives me the chance to do quick ABs. And now Noise Assist is back engaged. And here we are. And running Noise Assist, I tend to be around negative three, negative four. And I like to put it on my, on my master buses. If I have one bus, then it's on one. If, it's, if I'm doing a left-right bus, then it's on, on both. I don't, I don't like them to be different because that, that's where problems occur in post. And the ISO tracks are raw. So if somebody wants to remix or to, to make a change, they have no trouble doing that at all. I'd rather put it on the buses and not the ISOs because I would, the, the ISOs really do need to be the ones that are raw, in my opinion. That's the way I've been working with it. And it's really been a big hit. Thanks for stopping by the sound check as we chatted a little briefly about the eight series noise assist from sound devices and the debut of my, my eight, three, three SL two, uh, small rig, which I'm really, really fallen in love with. I'm happy with it. And, um, yeah, until next time, sound speeds.